Welcome to this episode of What's Happening of Wapaka. I am Joni Kern. Today we have in our studio, we have Chris Johnson. It's always fun to have you on, Chris, Thanks. because you get to be in front of the camera and you are one of our behind the camera guys. Right. Let me go straighten up the shot. No. Yeah. <laughs> now you are on today for the Lions. Yes. Um, and we are talking about the 15th annual Wapaka Rod and Classic show. Rod and Classic Car Show at South Park, uh, sponsored for the last few years by the Wapaka Lions Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, gates open at 8 a.m. Of course, all the drivers end up showing up earlier, so we have to be there. But uh, we're just hoping for good weather, and we get a lot of cars when there's good weather. And it's so beautiful, you know, at South Park under the trees, and they got the new fountain there and the new pavilion. So oh, so if, great. yeah, if you guys haven't seen the newest stuff at South Park, you have to go in and take a look at it. And it is, it's a great place to have it in summer because of all of the shade. Yes. And I know that the people who have a lot of money tied up in their vehicles appreciate the shade too. Yeah, and the sun is just uh, brutal at car shows. And a lot of people bring easy ups and stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's the only car show within the city limits of Wapaka. And we'll have food available at the pavilion. The Wapaka Lions Club will be uh, providing the food and uh, sodas and stuff like that. And we'll have music going on. We'll also have raffles. We do a 50-50 raffle. Uh, sometimes we'll do two 50-50 uh, raffles throughout the morning. And, uh, and then I think about 2 o'clock or so, something like that, they will start doing the... Um, awarding of the prizes. So this is a, a participant judged show. So, so if you bring a car in, means. if you bring a car in, uh, you get a ballot and then you can uh, judge the cars in these categories. We've reduced them over the years. Uh, so sometimes there's a lot of cars in one category, so it's kind of hard. But we had so many categories that maybe we didn't even have a car show up for that category. So uh, we reduced them and some people got mad about it, but uh, that's the way it is for now. There is a cost for registration and you can go to um, Wapaka Lions Club on Facebook for sure. And then uh, there's also uh, another page, and I can't think of the site for that. And that'll direct, that'll direct me anyway, you're, because your face, anybody who puts that stuff on Facebook, then there's a link. So yep. that'll bring us right to it, I'm sure. So um, it's happening August 26th. That's the last Saturday in August. Is it an all day or just in the morning? Well, car, this car show uh, starts about eight o'clock and will end around two or three. I'm not sure okay. of the exact times this year. Uh, okay. We used to have a, a, a cruise, but the cruise has been canceled, unfortunately. Some people are sad about that, but it makes it easier to put on the show for sure. And uh, this is all hands on deck for our WAPAC Alliance. We'll have people parking cars, uh, directing traffic. We'll have people in, at the concession booths. We'll have uh, people you know, making the food, grilling at the barbecue, and uh, going around selling raffle tickets. And it's just a, it's a fun show, and the people who do come with their cars really enjoy it, and they uh, come up to some of the Lions members, including myself, and say thank you for putting the show on. It's really nice. And Lions, the Lions Club, in Wapak and I think most Lions Clubs all over the place are very, very busy in the community. Yeah. You guys do a ton of different fundraisers and different events throughout the year. So just remind us all again where the money you raise goes. Right. Uh, so one of the big things is we're you know part of the International Lions Club. And um, in Wisconsin, we have a Lions Camp. And that's not too far away in Rosholt. And um, that's a camp where all the campers who go there, disabled, blind, deaf, uh, there's a diabetic camp, um, a, a cognitive learning disabilities uh, camp. Uh, that whole camp, any of those campers that go there go for free. They're sponsored by the Lions Clubs to go there for every club. Uh, you know, and so that's one of the big things that we do. We also give local scholarships. We uh, provide money to the food pantry. We uh, support... Uh, we do recycle eyeglasses and send those overseas on uh, missions where we're sending a doctor, eye doctors and uh, volunteers and matching up these glasses with people who need them that never saw an eye doctor before. Where so that's can, great. Yeah, and you're telling me that and I'm thinking about all of the eyeglasses that I have sitting around at home. Right, gather so, them up. Where can we bring them? Uh, right here at City Hall, we have a deposit box. I know uh, Community First has one. 
uh, First National Bank, uh, Farmer's State Bank, um, out at the Veterans Home. There's a couple of spots in a couple of those halls out there. Um, also, the, there's a couple of eye doctors in town. They also okay. have a, um, a bin for them. So and remember. You just dump them in the bin, and when it gets full, we collect them and then gather them up, and then they have sorting parties where they sort the glasses by style and kind, and um, they measure up so they know what kind of uh, prescription it is. So that's one of the really neat things that we do. And this year being the centennial year, this is the 100th year of the International Lions Club. And uh, they're having a goal of, of, I'm not sure how many eyeglasses, but we've exceeded it already for the year. So Fabulous. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because we get new eyeglasses. We have no idea what to do with the old ones. So now we know what to do with the old ones. So, and the Somebody's going to use it and be very thankful from another country. You know, and I think that this is so neat because we get to go on August 26th to the car show, Rotten Classic. We get to enjoy ourselves and we get to know that all of the proceeds are going to benefit um, disabled kids yes. um, at a camp. Not all of the proceeds because you do other things, but a lot of the proceeds go into your um, I program and then your camp up in Rochelle. Yeah. So thank you, Chris, for being on today. It's always a pleasure to sit and talk with you. Welcome. See you at the car show. You bet. August 26th. Thanks for joining us for this episode of What's Happening Wapaka. I am Joni Kern. <laughs>